Hey guys, and welcome to Slash Race Games. Over the many, many, many tutorials that I've been creating, I'm always getting people saying, Hey JP, how are you creating your image resources? How do you make buttons? Please show us. So here I am in Photoshop. I'm going to go through the process of how I create the two sub images of the button, one being when the mouse is hovering over it, and the other when it's not. So to start this off, I'm going to create a new image. I'm just going to give it the default title, uh, 1280 by 720. This is where I like to represent the width and height of my actual menu room so that I know with relation to the outside of the borders and stuff like that how big my button is. So we're going to leave it 100 resolution, that's all good. And RGB color, 8 bits, fine. Background transparent, very big. Big thing right there, that's very important. Okay, save. Then I'm going to go window, view, sorry, and screen. I'm going to change this to full screen mode. Okay, so here we have our our like background menu. Now I like to have the contrast between my Slash Rex Games Lime and Black. You know, those are the contrasts that I like to work with. So in this tutorial I'm just going to stick to the transparent background. Then when we've created the button, I'm gonna fill the background with black and we're gonna see how awesome it, it makes that button pop out. So on the bottom right here we've got our layers. We're gonna be using a lot of layers and we've got some things down here. For example this is the text. We're gonna be doing that too. So to create our button I'm going to go down here to our toolbar, our tool panel right over here. And right over here there is, see, a tool to draw certain primitives. We've got rectangles, rounded rectangles, uh, ellipses, polygons, lines, custom shape. So I like to do the rounded rectangle tool right over there. So we click that and we can draw something. See this? Really interesting. Now over here the radius, this is that corner. How rounded do we want that corner to be? So if I set this as something like 100, check this out, it's going to be really rounded, see? very round. If I set it to something like 5, you'll notice that the roundness is barely round at all. See? Very, very subtle. So I'm going to delete all these. And I think a roundness radius of about 20 is going to be great. So we're going to set that to 20. Now this whole width and height of this canvas that we got here represents our menu room, for example. So I know if I create a button this big, it's going to appear that big you know, in our room. So we want to make sure that we're leaving enough space for our title the other buttons that we're going to use, I mean, if we're going to have multiple buttons, if we make it that big, notice we can only put in like two before it starts getting constrained here. So we want to make sure that not only are we grabbing the right size of our button, it's also realistic. The player will see that this is a great button. It's fitting well with its surroundings. It's not in any way constrained. So we're going to click that again, make sure we've got the right tool selected. Now I'm going to go to black over here in our swatches. Create black right over there, black, black color. I'm going to hold shift down. See, if you hold shift down, you're going to get a square. So we want a rectangle, so no shift right over there. And I want to go about there. Bam. I'm going to move this around with control and click. Right over there, put it in the middle somewhere, it doesn't really matter. So now notice I've got a black inside. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a nice green lime border around that. And that's going to contrast between the button and the button itself. It kind of, sounds kind of weird, but it's the, the border of the button contrasting with the middle of the button as well as the actual background of our main menu. So we're going down here to our layers. We've got our button layer. We're right-clicking over here, going all the way up to Blending Options. Click that. Notice it brings up all kinds of layer styles, so inner glow, satin color overlay. You can experiment with these, I guess, if you want. But I'm going to handle the stroke over there. Go into Stroke. See, notice you see it changes different. It's a different, slight change. It gets a bit thicker. So we click into Stroke, change our color. Uh, now here on Swatches I've got my predefined SX Games Lime over there. I mean you could type in your red, green and blue values right over there. So we say OK. And then here, see this? This is the thickness of the border around it. Check that out. Now a good thing to notice is if you're creating a lot of buttons, um, say you create some menu buttons now, some tomorrow, some next week, make sure that you take note of you know, the thickness of your stroke here because you want to make sure that your buttons are consistent throughout your entire game. You know, so if you're going to make them over a period of time, save this as your PSD project file and then you know, work with it as you create your buttons. Don't just save this for web and then go away and then have to figure out, oh, what exactly was my, my uh, you know, structure of my uh, stroke here. So I'm going to set this to 20, just like that. It's good thickness. Um, position outside, inside, you can choose. Obviously, outside means it retains that roundness. And then here you can change the opac opacity. Let me keep that 100. And here we've got the color. Excellent. So we say OK. Oh, make sure you've got preview selected, otherwise it won't show you what exactly you're doing. Say OK. That's good. Then we're going to go to Text, Text Tool. Still on the same layer, obviously. Uh, I'm going to check the text here. I've got Lily UPC. That's the one I like to use. Make sure that we are in green, just like that. I'm going to drag this box. Notice there. And we say Start. See, it's all black. Oh, no, there we go. It is green. 
And that's not how you spell start. Start. There we go. So we drag this down, make sure it's nice and centered. Okay, that should be fine. Just like that. And if you think of it, if you look at it right now, we've got our button. This is the the sprite sub-image when the player hasn't put his mouse over it. It's, it's done. It's, it's right here. There's enough space around the edges, make it look like it's not squashed in any way. And there we go. What we're going to do is we're going to go to crop. We're going to drag these, because now we know how this button's going to work with the rest of our of our game room menu. So we can crop that. Bam. Just like that. Go back to the select tool. And there we go. We've got our first image. So I'm going to say file, save for web. Brings up this uh, PNG 24. I uh, go for that. It's pretty good because then you have your transparency in the background, and it's pretty high quality. So we're going to save that. Uh, making buttons, and we're going to call this one Start Zero. I call it Start Zero because remember the sub images of an array start at zero, then they go to one. One's going to be the sub image where the mouse is over it. So we say there Start Zero. Say Save. Bam, that's saved. Now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to create another layer. Get on here to the bottom right. New layer. Right there. I'm going to drag this below the title. I'm going to go to a paint tool. Um, if you choose your size, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. And then here I'm going to color all this inside in. Just like that. Color that all in. Whoops, made a mistake. There we go. So now it's completely colored in. We can't see our text. Go back to text. Click somewhere here. Bam, there it is. Control A. Select all that text. Make sure that we are changing it to black color. Bam. Check that out. And that's how easy it is to create the second sub-image. Just like that. So we say File, Save for Web, Save, and here we're going to call this one the Start 1. Okay, done, and done. So there we've got both our sub-images. Don't forget to file save this actual project file or something. So let's go there. Let's go to Tech Photoshop. I'm going to call this one Button. That's our project file saved, just like that. So now if we go to our, you know, directory of this all, and we have a look, here we go, we've got start zero, start one, if we go into this one, we can flick left and right, see? That's what it's like. Um, it's like this, the mouse comes over it, bam, and it changes. Mouse outside, mouse inside, see? And it looks pretty cool, and that's in contrast nicely on the black background of our main menu. So if we go back to Photoshop, and if I had to create another temporary layer right over here, put it right at the bottom, Color that in black. See? Looks pretty cool. So if you think of it, it kind of looks like we've cut this out, and that's showing the, the background through there. So, you know, you've got to work with your contrast. Um, if you're not really great with colors, whack out a color wheel and then check the opposites to see that. But you're going to have to sort of capture the emotions of whoever's playing your game. You've got to make sure that everything complements each other and your actual menus fit in with the style of your game. So that's a very, very big feature there. So, I mean, this is a very quick tutorial on how to make a button uh, if you have Photoshop. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you want me to do other Photoshop tutorials um, on making resources for your game, I'm not an expert. I mean, everything I've shown you today is just things I've learned through self-interest. If you're interested in knowing how I've created any resource that I've used in any of my tutorials, hit me up. I can maybe do a tutorial on that. And, uh, yeah, maybe we can even do a mini Photoshop series. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's all about creating great content for your game. If you're feeling generous, you can check out my Patreon campaign. Send me a few bucks through then. I really appreciate your patronage. Check out my Facebook page. Stay tuned for more of the very best gaming tutorials. Until then, happy painting, and I'll see you guys next time.